Good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch. I've often been asked or scolded by many people in the comments about, Mitch, why the hell do your videos take so long? Get to the point. I don't have the patience to watch your videos. I'm unsubscribing. I'm out of here. Now, I don't get that too often, but I get enough of it to see a trend. And that trend happens to be our increasing need to cram as much information into as short a period of time as we can because what we have in our society is what I call transactional overload. And when you're getting those transactions, when you're having those headlines shot at you, none of it really sinks in and a lot of it doesn't make any sense. The other end of the spectrum For some reason, we have the patience, we have the patience to sit through long stories, to sit through two-hour movies, one-hour television shows, where storytellers exercise their craft, their craft of telling a story with preambles, character arcs, character building, story building, immersing us, distracting our attention away from all the things that we're constantly thinking or worrying about, uh, letting us lose ourselves in, in the story becoming emotionally affected. And that's what makes a good book or a good movie or a good TV show stand out. Yet, when it comes to gathering information about very important things to us, like our health and everything, we seem not to have the patience to do that. I don't know how many of you remember Paul Harvey was one of my favorites. He never, ever, ever took two minutes to tell his story. What made him popular and what made it so fascinating was that he took time. He built up the story so that you would understand when he got to the part of what he called the rest of the story, you understood. You could see the irony. You could see how things were often misunderstood because you got more detail. You became engrossed. You became curious. You wanted to find out how does this end? What is the point? When you go to a movie where you watch a video, you don't, even if it's two hours long, you don't just go to the last five minutes to see how it ends. That ending is meaningless without the build-up and the story. And for those of you who are just looking for the ending so you can move on to the next ending, I'm sorry, that's not my style. And my videos are going to be about telling a story. I'm a storyteller. Stories are used to get to points, to emphasize points, and make points. Most movies and books are basically a point being made with some interesting lead up. So my videos will always be, always be a little longer, but I'll get to the point and I'm hoping that you'll be entertained along for the ride.
the point, and in my case, health and lifestyle are just too important to be misunderstood for the sake of brevity. It won't mean as much to you. Patience slowed down. Time passes fast enough. One day you wake up and you find yourself approaching 77 years old and you say to yourself, where the hell did it go? Well, it goes. It goes. I think I want to have five strips of bacon today because... They were a little narrower. And I'm going to have five eggs because this is going to be one of my two meals. I think I might have a ribeye later. And between the two meals, I'm going to be eating over two pounds of food today. And that's how I gauge the amount of food that I eat today is basically the weight of the food. How many pounds of food have I eaten in a day? I'm going to have this ribeye later, and I'll start at sous vide about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's quarter to 11 now. And I'll uh, have that meal around 3 o'clock. I also have this pound of Wagyu from Sam's Club, and we'll see... If for some reason I don't feel like a steak, I might take that steak and put it on a plate on a rack and dry brine it overnight and have it tomorrow. But I usually have two alternatives for my second meal. So that if I have a whim, I've got options. A little Redmond's Real Salt for the eggs. Excuse me while I beat my eggs. Thank you. You'll notice my new t-shirt, one of the t-shirts my son bought me last year for Christmas. This one says, I like romantic, what does it say, walks down the meat aisle. I love it. I, lo I love these shirts. I love these shirts. I wish I had thought this up. I hope, oh, that sound, I love that sound, that's music, listen to that, oh. I hope, and I really think, that so many, so many of my viewers, and I just hit, 22,000 subscribers. I hope that they consider these videos that I make. And I would say about maybe more than half of the ones I make are usually while I'm just going about my business, generally cooking, cooking one of the meals. I hope that you'll consider these more than just a how-to or information, but a visit with a friend. When you go to a friend's house to visit or family to see family, you don't walk in and immediately say, got anything new to say? Okay, I'll see you later. It doesn't work that way. That's not life. That's not life. And we, 
unfortunately, have been, I don't want to say programmed, but we've become accustomed to there being so many sources of information and so much information that we feel rushed, we feel pushed to absorb as much of it as we can in a in a really short period of time. And this never gives us a chance to just relax. It's like those old TV shows that used to take you into a store, give you a shopping cart and say, you've got 60 seconds to buy as much as you can. You never have time to actually look at anything. You're just madly running through the store, shoveling things into your shopping cart. And when you get all done, if somebody was to turn you around away from the shopping cart and say, what did you just get? You probably wouldn't even remember. That's no way to live a life. The young are more impatient because their life consists of how much screen time they can get in the shortest period of time, how much information or knowledge they can absorb in the shortest period of time. And they're the ones that leave me the comments that say, get to the point, old man. You're wasting my time. Well, if I'm wasting your time, <laughs> spend your time somewhere else. That's your choice. For me, when I do these things, I like to visit with my friends. Talk about some information that I think is important. Try to entertain a little bit. And then always at the very end, you're going to get the day off. So take the rest of the day off and eat meat.